Hello everyone. Good morning. I'm Steve from You Can English Tutoring, Sydney, Australia. I've been helping more than 12,000 students to achieve their design scores in IELTS, OET, and PTE academic examinations since 2008. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the reading part B questions and answers. So you can compare your performance against the answers I'm going to share with you after playing the questions. If you are able to get at least five out of six in this complex um, questions, you are going to get the same scores in the real OET examination as well. And you'll be able to pass the real OET examination if you score well in this question type. I'm going to share with you more and more reading part B, A and part C questions and answers um, in the upcoming days so that you can prepare well enough and pass your examination in one attempt itself. Before we jump onto the video where I'll be showing you the reading part B questions and answers for the OET examination, I would like to provide a gentle reminder to you in regards to the membership programs I run on my YouTube channel. By being a member, you are going to help me out to improve the quality of my YouTube channel and perform better. Uh, there are three membership programs and uh, if you are struggling with your OET, IELTS, and PT academic examinations, you can become any one of these members on my YouTube channel and get the maximum benefits out of my YouTube channels because there are some videos that are restricted only for the members because they are helping me out to grow my reputation and the channel. The first members membership is known as Silver Membership, which starts at 4.99 Australian dollars, which is going to be almost um, 250 to 300 Indian rupees per month. You will get the loyalty badges and then emojis. In addition to that, you will have exclusive members only videos, which contain the information on a range of proven strategies, tips, um, and also the uh, videos that contain the A grade and B grade letters and role play conversations. I will also provide you the strategies from time to time in relation to um, each thing that you have to achieve very well. For example, I'll provide you the strategies on how to organize the case notes very well um, and then how to manage the time during your role play conversation as well as in the letter. So these kinds of strategies will be given to you. Um, if you are planning to appear in the IELTS examination, I'll also share with you the proven structure for the essay and letter. Um, plus, I will also share with you the eight band and uh, the essays and letters or reports so that you can pass your IELTS examination easily. I will also provide the good quality answers you know, for um, the 90 scoring templates. If you're aiming at 90s out of 90 in the PT academic examination, becoming a member in my YouTube channel is going to be of great help for you to pass your PT academic examination in one go itself. When, when you become a gold member, which is charged at $14.99, you'll be also able to get to know 10 sets of uh, PT, IELTS and OET practice test materials which were prepared by me. And then you can uh, practice these materials and you can uh, pass your uh, real OET, PT or IELTS examination. You will have access to members only live chats plus the members only videos, okay? So where you can ask me all the questions and I'm gonna answer them uh, one by one, uh, giving you uh, enough ideas on how to pass this OET, IELTS and PT academic examinations. Um, so this $14.99 uh, is, uh, is going to be equivalent to that of um, almost like say, let's say 750 or 800 um, you know, Indian rupees, all right? Uh, there is a platinum member uh, program where you can become um, you know, a member that is going to get the maximum benefits out of my YouTube channel. You'll be able to access the members only videos plus 10 sets of test materials for your uh, examination. On top of that, you will also have free assessment of two speaking and writing tests. So I'm going to assess your speaking and writing test word by word, which means you'll be able to get the most accurate assessment from me for your speaking and writing communication skills. 
and then um, i will also provide you the strategies on how to overcome your speaking problems it is not only the assessment but also the um, you know preparation and guidance you know for you to improve your speaking and writing skills okay what else in the store you are going to get the assistance with the two full reading and listening tests as well i'm going to teach you each one i'm going to tell you okay this is going to be the one this is what you have committed and this is what you should have chosen and things like that i will also provide you the explanation on why your answers are incorrect and what answers you should have chosen okay so when you become a platinum member all these things will be available to you exclusively and you are going to make a huge impact on the way i improve the quality of my channel and post the videos if you become a platinum member thank you so much for bearing with me uh, now i would like to transition to the reading test and then um, we will go ahead with that i wish you good luck with everyone okay uh firstly i just would like to tell you that uh, this video is going to be uploaded on the youtube channel and uh, your encouragement is the key for me to post more and more videos whenever you find the video helpful please uh, click the like tab um, and also share it with your friends other whatsapp groups or uh, telegram groups because it is going to help me out a lot all right um if you if you would like to leave a comment that can help me out to improve the quality of my channel please do so um you can also subscribe to my youtube channel if you wish um, this channel is uh, providing lots of useful information in the preparation for oet ielts and um pt academic examination okay let's start the uh, reading test now okay look at this in reading part b in this part of the text uh, test you are going to get six short extracts relating to the work of health professionals for questions 1 to 6 choose answers a b or c which you think fits best according to the text let's go through the first question this is the first question okay this is the first question so according to the extract according to the extract to prevent the spread of infection okay emergency department uh, isolation rooms okay so these three are the choices all right should be placed away from the main entry doors that's going to be the first choice okay and then the next one is are more numerous than those of other departments that's a second choice and then the third one is are to be situated near where people enter the unit okay so what i would like to do is i would like to give you one minute exactly one minute so that um, you can um you know prepare the answer for this one and then get the uh you know the the correct answer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up the timeline just give me one moment all right okay i'm going to you know set up the stopwatch now so once it ticks 60 seconds i'm going to stop this and then i'll move ahead to the next one okay uh, i would recommend you to read the question and choices properly and then the text and then get the answer please i'm going to start now so your one minute time is going to start now your one minute is over i have already set up the stopwatch i'm going to move ahead to the second one but if you wish to have more time you can pause the video and then take more time and then get the correct answer please let me go out to the second question now so this is the second question all right so the question is what do staff need to be conscious of when working in enter rooms okay so in this case we have got three choices again uh, choice a keeping used and unused medical clothing apart choice b ensuring the ambient pressure in the room is a minimum 15 pascal 
choice C, keeping the door closed at all times. So here is the text. The text has got three paragraphs. Your one minute time is going to start now. So I have been checking the stopwatch um, you know, in parallel. So you should be able to um, you know, get the one minute time only. I'm going to start now and you can start answering the question. Thank you. One minute is over now. I'm going to move ahead to the next one. But if you need additional time, please feel free to pause this video and then find out the answer. Thank you. That's the third one. So the third question is, what is the basic principle of flexible design? Choice A, creating systems which match current policy and can adjust to other possible guidelines. Choice B, designing healthcare facilities which strictly adhere to current policy. Choice C, changing healthcare policies regularly to match changes in the marketplace. So that's the third choice. Okay, we've got three choices and your one minute time is going to start now. I'm checking the stopwatch in between. Thank you. Your one minute time is over now. Um, if you wish to have more time, please pause this video and go through the text and get the answer, okay? I also provide additional courses. If you wish to have uh, any of the courses that can help you to achieve your desired scores in OET, IELTS, and PT academic examination, please ask me how, and I'm gonna help you out on that. I do offer a free demo session in order to assess your first letter, um, essay, uh, and then uh, provide the assessment for your first speaking mock test, whether it could be the role play in the OET examination or the speaking mock test in IELTS or PT or so on. Okay, so you can send a message to me on my WhatsApp number that is going to be shared with you uh, sooner, okay, or an email, okay? All right, let me move on to the next one. One minute is over for that. So I'm, I'm, I'm moving on to this one. So this is the next question. I have to just move it a bit so that you'll get to know exactly what it is. Okay, this is the one. So the question is when prescribing antibiotics for a human bite, what should the medical professional remember? Choice A, not all the patients should be given antibiotics given the nominal infection risk. Choice B, the bacterium Streptococcus SPP is the most common in bite patients. Choice C, um, Echinella corridens is not susceptible to several antibiotics often used for skin infections. So these three are the choices. Your one minute time is going to be started now. I'm going to start that now in the stopwatch and I'll let you to find out the answer. Thank you.
your one minute time is over now i'm going to the next question if you wish to get additional time please feel free to pass this video and go ahead with the next one thank you that's the next question so the question is the extract informs us that a model of care choice a is only implemented at certain times and places choice b should include its own application and assessment choice c involves the development of a project management tool your one minute time is going to start now I hope you have got the answer. One minute time is over now, and I'm going to move ahead to the next one. Thank you. This is the final question, question number six of part B. What is the basic difference between delegation, referral, and handover? Choice A, how many practitioners are involved in each part of the process? Choice B, how much authority is attributed to each practitioner? Choice C, how long each of the processes take a practitioner to complete. Your one minute time starts now. Your one minute time is over now. Please start answering this question. If you wish to have additional time, you can go ahead with that. Um, now I would like to go ahead and uh, provide the answers for each question so that you can compare your answers. All right, let's go ahead with the first one. Before I share the answers, okay, I would like to thank Rajia who has commented on this uh, feedback section of my YouTube channel, requesting to provide one minute a time in the silent mode so that she can focus more on the videos and then get the correct question, answer for the question, okay? Uh, thank you so much, Rajia, for your comment. I really appreciate it. I try to address everyone's comments and provide feedback um, on the same. I also try to implement whatever the suggestions you have come across um, you know, after watching my videos. All right, let's go through the answers now for each question. For the first question, the answer is choice C. Ought to be situated near where people enter the unit. That's the correct answer. So choice C is the correct answer, okay? If you have answered this one, well done. You have done a good job. Let's go to choice, uh, sorry, question number two. For question number two, the correct answer is choice A, keeping used and unused medical clothing apart. That is gonna be the correct answer. All right, let's go to the question number three. So for question number three, the answer is again choice A, creating systems which match current policy and can adjust to other possible guidelines. That's gonna be the correct answer. 
let's go to question number four. So for question number four, the answer is again, uh, sorry, the answer is choice C, this one. Um, Aikinella corridens is not susceptible to several antibiotics often used for skin infections. That's the correct answer. Let me go to choice, question number five. For question number five, the answer is B. So it is should include its own application and assessment. That's going to be the correct answer. All right, let's go to the next one. So question number six. For this question, the answer is P. How much authority is attributed to each practitioner? I hope you like this video. Um, I'm going to upload more and more videos to help you out in order to pass your OET, IELTS, and PT academic examinations. If you wish to reach me you know, for the free assessment of your first letter and first role play conversation, please contact me on plus 614684808777. My mobile or WhatsApp number is plus 614684808777. You can also contact me on my email address that is steve at youcanenglishtutoring.com. It is S T E V E at U C A N English tutoring.com. You can also like my Facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash you can tutoring. Okay, if you like my Facebook page, you will get regular updates on the note and the notifications. You can also turn on the bell icon on my YouTube channel when you subscribe to it. Thank you so much for your valuable time spending on my YouTube channel. I wish you good luck with your practice and the real examination. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.